Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we would see a flow through a pipe with a twisted tape insert. This is part 1 of the tutorial, in this tutorial we would demonstrate the geometry creation for the twisted tape insert pipe and meshing. Create a new ANSI's fluent project environment by dragging the fluid flow fluent into the project schematic space. Then right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Let's create the geometry using the ANSI's design modeler. Go to the menu bar select units and change the units to millimeter. Select the XY plane, click on the Z axis to make the sketch normal to the screen. Select the circle option from the draw toolbox and draw the circle with the center at the origin. Put the dimension of the circle. Click on generate. We would now extrude the sketch. Select the sketch, in the geometry box click on apply. In the operation box select add frozen, this would create the body as a separate entity. Enter the depth of extrusion in the extent. Then click on Generate. We would keep the extrusion to 1000 mm for this tutorial. Select the YZ axis and draw a line along the positive Z axis. Provide the dimension of the line which is to be the same as the cylinder length. Now we would draw the cross section of the twisted tape. For that select the XY plane. Create a new sketch. Draw a rectangle. Select the symmetry constraint, select the axis first, then the two lines which are to be symmetrical. Make the horizontal as well as vertical lines symmetric about the axis. It would keep the rectangle center at the origin. Put the dimensions to the sketch. Click on Generate. The sketch is now complete. Go to the tree outline, select the line sketch created on the YZ plane. Right click on it and select Always Show Sketch. This would keep the sketch active if we select any other plane.
Select the sweep option. Select a rectangular sketch as the profile. Click on apply. Then select the axis line as the path. Click on apply. Select the operation as add frozen. In the twist specification, select turns. Enter the number of turns. Click on Generate. The twisted tape geometry is now created. It's recommended to keep the twisted tape fully inside the fluid domain in such a way that its geometry should not intersect with the inlet boundary. Otherwise, it might cause an error. So to avoid such error, let's elongate both ends of the cylinder using Extrude option. Select the extrude, then select the face to be extruded. Click on Apply. Select the axis as the direction vector. Enter the depth of extrusion. Click on Generate. Similarly, extrude the other end of the cylinder. Now we need to join these two new extrusions with the cylinder using the boolean unite option. Go to create menu select boolean. Select all the three parts and click on apply. Click on Generate. Now we need to separate the twisted tape geometry from the outer fluid domain. For that, we need to take the help of Boolean operation. Go to Create menu select Boolean. Select the outer fluid domain as the target body and inner twisted tape as the tool body. Select Yes in the Preserve Tool Body option. Then click on Generate. Now the twisted tape and the fluid domain both are separate bodies. Select the two parts right-click and select Form New Part to make it one body. Geometry is complete. Close the geometry and proceed for meshing. Right-click on Mesh and select Insert then select Method. In the definition, table select the method as tetrahedrons.
Enter the element size as 2.5 mm. Again right click on mesh, go to insert, select inflation. Select the full geometry body and click on apply. In the boundary section, select the outer surface of the cylinder and click on apply. Then right click on mesh and click on generate. Meshing is now complete. Check the mesh statistics. If you are using ANSI's academic version, then make sure that the number of elements or nodes should be within the allowable limit of 512,000. Now we would provide names to the different boundary surface. Turn off the mesh display to see the name selection of all the boundary surfaces. Right click on mesh and select update. It will link the meshed cells with the CFD solver. For fluent solver setup and results, please watch part 2 of the tutorial.